going on guys? So I know this uh, this channel is mainly for code, but I've been, uh, you know, I've upgraded the, the room and stuff, so I thought we would try out a little bit of a dog cam. You wanna go play in the snow, Sue? You wanna run outside in the backyard? You ready to go outside play in the snow? Hopefully the dog cam is fun. I thought this was gonna. I thought this was gonna go differently. Suvi, no. Hey, no. Excuse me. All right. So, uh, hopefully, you enjoyed the uh, the dog cam. I'm just trying to mix it up. I have all this fun stuff. So. As time goes on, these videos will kind of change. I might film in different locations. Just gotta mix it up. Gotta get to 100K by the end of the year, which is 27 days from now. <laughs> but that, you know, it, maybe maybe it'll happen. Probably not, but you know, I gotta, I gotta set my game up a little bit. Anyways, we're looking at React projects or how to find React projects. And the place that I always go to or recommend is codesandbox.io. If you don't know what codesandbox.io is, well, you can see it here on the screen. And the blue, the, the blue cube was highlighted and it said React. It's actually neat. You can click on these cubes. Basically, it's just an online, you can think of it as like an online version of Visual Studio Code, and a text editor. So if I click on this blue box, I click explore. Well, if you click open React, what will happen is it'll just give you a bare bones React boilerplate app. So instead of going to create React app, uh, the GitHub for that, and then downloading it, and then installing with npm, and then having problems with npm, and then using yarn instead, and you're just going to skip that entire boilerplate setup localhost process, and you can just jump straight into here. I'll move my camera over so you can see. Basically, uh, this is just a vanilla, vanilla React app here. You can see your packages. It's the same thing as a create React app. Uh, that you would download from the GitHub, but you know this is a great starting point. So if you've ever wanted to start learning React and not like doing the the whole setup process is kind of confusing to you, doesn't make a whole lot of sense. You get stuck. You have all these versioning errors. You need to update your node, and all these things happen. Just just go here, practice here, and if you wanna, if you if you keep hearing buzzwords like React Router or something like that, well. We can look at examples and we can see what other people have made. If we come over here, actually I'll just go back to the main menu and then I'll click on the blue cube and I'll click explore examples. So we'll just bring up a search box and if we type in, well, is that, it was actually already there. So a simple React Router v4 version 4 React Router tutorial. I click this, you can see everything. So you can kind of reverse engineer this, see how this is working. So this takes me here, and then these have sublinks to them, and this is just here, and this is just a, a main link, so this is an ending point. And then you got your components, and you can see everything and how, how all of this is working. And you can come in here, see every component, see the JSX, see the route, see the path, see the, any switches that they're using. There's also uh, React Animations. React Animations demo. So one thing to note here with CodeSandbox.io, some of these get out of date and some of these are broken. Some of them just aren't even finished and they're broken. And so if you want, a little challenge for yourself is to get these broken ones to work. So it's a nice little like half-built project and you just complete them and get them to work. I've done that a few times. I've had some weird versioning issues and then I've just, I, I fixed them. Um, what is this? Submit, so there's some, some uh, and you can see over here to the right, it doesn't actually just limit you to React. You have a any you have a number of different libraries and frameworks. You can do the Angular. You, uh, I was going to say the Angular. You can do Angular. You can do Vue. You can do uh, what's known as Preact. Preact is like a lightweight version of React. Preact has the same API as React. Um, mainly, it pulls away React's event implementation and implements the browser's native event listener 
Hopefully I got that correct. I did a little, uh, I did a lot of research to get that line right. Someone will correct me on that. They always do if I'm wrong. So you guys always looking out for me. I see you. So you got view, you got um, preact, you can look at node projects, you can uh, look at different dependencies. So this is a great spot to find just react examples. Now let's move on to the next one. All right, so another one we can take a look at here is called react.rocks, so React Rocks. And it's just a collection of React projects, and a lot of these have links to their GitHub, so if you want, you can go find a code on the GitHub, but these are just neat projects. So if I wanna find something to do with music that was built with React, I can type in music. See all these different types here. So you click on the picture here, and then it's your job to figure out where this is hosted or where the actual code is. This isn't hacker news, this is ha agnostic news. Okay. All right, so another one is a Medium blog by David Katz. It's called 10 React Starter Project Ideas to Get You Coding. Quiz builders are super popular for managing, basically just a, it gets you, man it, it gets you started with state and components, mounting and unmounting. Um, you got music players, so you can integrate with APIs, another a meme generator, Instagram radio, tons of pretty common uses for React in general. Um, you can come in here and he gives you examples. Uh, he gives you links to the APIs that you can use for the examples. And uh, this is just a great one. I'll put this one in the comment section. Uh, I'll pin this as a comment, this, this Medium blog. So lastly, we have sean smith dot me slash assets slash I'll put the rest of this URL in the comments down below. Um, so this is 25 React projects you can see on the screen. Some of these are super simple. Some of these probably wouldn't do you much good in an interview, to be honest. Some of them are super, they're just, I don't know if I would waste my time. You'll see, you'll see some of these in other starter React ideas. I'm always fond of building something with like sockets IO, building a chat app, building something kind of multiplayer that multiple people can can interact with. Uh, it just gives you something to, to show and talk about and be like, hey, all right, so I'm gonna do this and then you do this. So like when you're in the interview, right? So this is this is how it works, right? I can send you a message and then it pops up on their screen like right in front of them. Something really interactive for them rather than just like clicking on a calculator, you know? So these are my resources that I use for React. I mean, CodeSandbox.io has more than just React, but you can go to CodeSandbox, you can reverse engineer the different technologies that are used in React, like React Router and stuff like that. You can figure out how all of that is working and then take the knowledge from CodeSandbox and then bring that to one of these projects on any number of these other sites. Um, honestly, your best bet is to just Google React project ideas. I, I don't know why people are like, give me a good project idea. And, and I think my bread and butter one was the one that I mentioned before. The build something interactive for two people using sockets. Number one, sockets is not super simple, but it's not super hard, right? Um, it takes time to, to, to figure it out a little bit. It takes a little time to learn it, but it creates something that kind of sets you apart, like um, besides authentication or something like that. Um, it, it's a that, That's my go-to idea that I would suggest. Um, if you guys want to see more resource videos, like where I go to learn React. There's a whole bunch of websites that I recommend to learn React, and there's a whole bunch of rec uh, websites that I recommend to avoid learning React from because they get outdated and React moves at the speed of light pretty much. So you might be installing one dependency one day and then React says we don't use that anymore. So if you're interested and you like these resource videos, hit that thumbs up, I would appreciate that. If you enjoyed the doggo cam, hit that thumbs up, I'd appreciate that. I enjoyed making the doggo cam. Actually, I think they I think they want to go out and have some more. So yeah, so if you like this video, hit that subscribe button. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you got any other resources that you think would be helpful, you know, drop them in the comments. We have a Discord link for the Discord. It's also in the description. You can come ask me some questions. We have a we just crossed six thousand members today. So there's a, there's a lot of people in there. We have a channel for almost everything. I can't believe it's grown that much. I just made it so that I could share my games with people and it's crazy so there's a discord link for that is in the description below i guess that's it guys hope you enjoyed it hope it was helpful see you in the next one